Is a role in data governance the right role for you? Hi, I'm George Ferrican, your helpful data guy. I publish at least one new video each week where I dive into the topics of data governance, data quality, data management, and a bunch of other data topics. So please subscribe. Now let's find out if a role in data governance is the right role for you and go over the good, the bad, and the ugly because there's always a catch. First, it's important to understand the responsibilities of a data governance professional. And this can include creating and enforcing data policies and procedures, establishing and maintaining the business verbiage, so the business glossary, ensuring data quality and accuracy, working with the data security and privacy teams, and overseeing data lineage and data provenance. It also involves collaborating with different teams and departments such as IT, legal, compliance, and you know all major business departments to ensure that data governance best practices are being followed. What does it take to be successful in a data governance role? Let's see if this aligns with your skills and your interests. To be successful in a data governance role, you'll need a strong understanding of data management and data governance best practices, of course. You also need to be able to communicate effectively with different teams and departments, as well as having a strong analytical and problem-solving skills. Familiarity with data governance tools and technologies such as data catalogs, data dictionaries, business glossaries, and data governance platforms can also be beneficial, but it's not critical. Though, you know, you'll need to pick up that tool experience at one point. Now, data governance requires a lot of meetings, a lot of conversations, and a lot of creative ways to moderate discussions, you know, get buy-in, and basically introduce change in the organization when it comes to working with data. Yes, did I mention a lot of meetings? There are a lot of meetings. Data governance is also a constantly evolving field as technology and regulations change. So data governance professionals really need to stay up to date on industry trends and developments and be able to adapt their strategies and procedures accordingly. Not only in the data governance and technology and data fields, but also in the business industry that the organization is in. Willingness to continuously learn and having that mindset that embraces change, I think they're two essential things for the success in a data governance role. As I mentioned before, if you're considering a career in data governance, it's important to consider whether the role aligns with your interests and skills. You know, do you enjoy working with data? Um, do you have a strong understanding of data management best practices? Are you comfortable working with different teams and departments? Do you have a strong communication and analytical skills? If the answer is yes, then data governance may be the right role for you. However, it's important to note that data governance is not just about ensuring data quality, you know, security and privacy, but also about how data can be used to drive business value. Data governance professionals really need to understand how data can be used to improve decision-making, drive innovation, and support strategic objectives. In summary, at least in my opinion, data governance is a critical function in any organization that deals with large amounts of data. And it's a role that requires a combination of technical skills, communication skills, and business acumen. So if you have any interest in data management, you enjoy working with different teams and people, you have a strong analytical and problem solving skills, then data governance may be the right field for you. And there are different roles that you could go for, such as data governance lead. And it's not the only one. You also have, you know, data governance coordinator, a data steward, highly important. Data governance analyst, data custodian, or, you know, other name variations of these roles. Roles in data governance can also lead to other career opportunities in data management, data analytics, data science, and much more. Okay, what's that catch, George? Well, you know, what's the ugly side that he mentioned at the beginning of the video? Well, listen, I, you know, I won't lie and say that everything can be rosy. Data governance is always perfect. It's so fun to work in. No, there are some hiccups along the way. You know, arguably in any roles, there are hiccups. But in data governance specifically, uh, you might encounter things like, uh, you know, having to deal with some more difficult personalities. As I mentioned, you do have a lot of meetings. And really encountering that resistance to the change that you're bringing in. That can be a hard pill to swallow and go over and, and get them on board. That can be a tug of war at times. But 
you know, remember, always make it about them, always make it about the business, always put it in what's in it for me, always think about that, you'll be successful. In the end though, when you see the results and how those are tied to the success of the organization, data governance becomes a very fulfilling job. So let me know in the comments, is a role in data governance the right role for you? If you'd like to learn more about how to set up or improve a data governance program, just check out my online course on practical data governance implementation. Uh, spoiler alert, it comes with a bunch of templates, so it doesn't get easier than that. Like the video if you enjoyed it, and please subscribe. Let's keep putting lights on data. See you next time.